Hi, I'm Lisa Wyatt, Trisha Holmes' sister. I'm going to be doing some videos about chalk art contests and uh, some of the professional chalk uh, street art that you see around, some tips and show you how that's done and how it is that they can make such amazing artwork. Um, and today I'm just gonna go over the different types of chalk that there are and supplies that you can get from a local craft store, lobby, Hobby Lobby, um, or even online Amazon. And I just wanna go over and show you what chalk there is, so. I uh, just wanted to show you, so this type of chalk here, this is a, a kit that I got from Hobby Lobby. Uh, it's not very expensive. It's got 48 uh, different little sticks here. They're not very big as you can see they're They're quite small, but uh, And I know that doesn't seem like it would cover a whole lot of the street But that's where your dollar store buckets come in this dollar store bucket is actually quite vibrant for the fact that it's just cost a dollar for all those sticks um, a better brand is actually the Crayola. It's a lot more vibrant. Uh, I was trying to take a video earlier and it my, my storage ended up dying. This is the dollar store green and a dollar store red. This is the Crayola red. And then this is these soft pastel sticks. Uh, please note that there are oil pastels or they're soft pastels. Soft pastels you want the one, ones you want. You don't want oil free or you don't want oil pastels because they will stick and they make a mess and they're really hard to clean off your hands. It's a lot like oil paint. Uh, I was also kind of doing some demonstration here on the white uh, paper towel here you can see. This is the chalk art, or the chalk from the dollar store, and this is the artist grade uh, chalk. So you can see how you're going to get a much darker color there. Uh, so if you're wanting to do um, some chalk art that looks really great, really bold, and has a lot of color, um, having some of these is definitely the way to go. I want to show you my box here. These are all my supplies. Uh, there's my whites and my blacks and then I've got all my colors over here sorted. I also have these larger sticks. These are a higher grade. They have, this is an artist grade chalk and these are as vibrant and strong as these but they're just the big sticks. Um, but if you're cover covering a big large area you're going to want to use something like this and this just to kind of fill in that large area and then you would use these in all of your detail work and blending just so you're not using so much chalk and it can be quite ex it, if you're trying to use all of this it would become quite expensive uh, to cover most chalk um, drawings are around six feet by six feet eight feet by eight feet uh, I even did one that was a 17 foot um, wagon Okay, I just wanted to use one of my drawings as an example. I did this in October at a chalk art contest in Bountiful, and I used the street chalk, just the typical stuff from Walmart or Dollar Store, to fill in these big, huge areas. I mean, this leaf, this was an 8 by 6 foot drawing, so it was very large, and I used um, just regular chalk to fill in. You can see all the blue that I filled in. Back here, that took up a lot of chalk, and so I just used the Crayola to try to get like a darker blue color in there. And I used uh, dark yellow as I could get, and white. Sorry, you're gonna hear my daughter in the background. And uh, and then I used those soft pastels to do the lines here. I also used them to do the white highlights to get that gold leaf look. Um, so that is a good example and also here I used some purple and some blue here in the shadowing to be able to make that leaf look like it was sitting on top of some water. I actually won first place in the beginner's division with this drawing. Um, it really wasn't that hard to do. It took a little bit of practice in getting the leaf right. Um, and I'll go over some more on value and trying to make this 3D look in the next video. Thanks for watching.